Hello guys, this is another Beatles fan and here we are again with more news on the Beatle camp. And today we had the announcement that Danny and Olivia Harrison are finally re-releasing George Harrison's Living in the Material World. It's got its 50th birthday um, last year. And I gotta tell you man, this album is really growing on me ever since I got this final record. I bought it. Mm, maybe three months ago when I was in New York, two months ago actually. And this one is an original 1973 version and it sounds great. And I gotta tell you, I think Living in the Material World is much stronger as an album than the songs by themselves. And that's not what happens, for example, with All Things, All Things Must Pass. I feel like What Is Life and My Sweet Lord are immense songs by themselves but this one is stronger when you listen to it as a full album i really do feel like it's a bit underrated in that sense and i don't think the sound quality is as bad on the release as people say it is i think george's vocals is are a bit muddy and they're a bit low on the mix and the Harrison Estate has already released two things from this re-release. Um, number one, uh, Give Me Love, Take, Now Take, Take 18. It's an acoustic one with George on acoustic guitar and vocals. It sounds like the same vocal take as the one on the final record, I'm not sure. Um, but also, they've released a trailer, which is really cool actually. The trailer has a ton of different different images and videos of the era so it's it's cool checking it out and it's got a bit of a snippet of living in the material world the song on its remix version because that's what they're going to do right so disc one is the remix of the album 2024 mixes disc two we have the outtakes it's going to be one outtake per song um, some alternative versions too. Also, Miss Odell 2024 mix and Sunshine Life for Me, Celia Ray Raymond. This one is interesting because it's a song that Ringo released on his album, but it was produced by George. So it's the first time we're going to hear George singing it. So that may be really interesting. And there's also a Blu-ray version if you buy the Super Deluxe Edition. I'm going to link down here the, the store front of of this release so you can see because there's a super deluxe edition a double lp one a single lp one a double cd one and also a ton of memorabilia like mugs and shirts and whatever so um you know everything's there if you want to check it out i'm not getting it anything myself i think just because again this album i think has a, a bit of a a bit infamous it is a bit infamous because it may, people say that it doesn't sound that good, sound quality isn't that good, it's a bit muddy, but I think it's okay, I quite like the production in it, it is produced by George, not by Phil Spector like All Things Must Pass was, so again, it'll be really interesting to see what they'll do with the mixes, and on the trailer they released with the song Living in the World, it's very clear what they did. The main thing they wanted to do is bring up a bit more of George's vocals on the mix, which is something that I think is fair. It's really fair because if there's um, something you can point out being a bit wrong about the mix, the original one, is the fact that George's voice is a bit muddy throughout and maybe it, it makes some songs like the energy they deserve. Um, so let's see how that works, right? Um, I guess that's it for today, guys. It's a, a real quick video. Um, I also wanted to mention that I'm excited to hear the outtakes. I, I always love listening to the outtakes. And yeah, uh, when it releases on November 15th, um, I think I forgot to mention the date, I'm gonna come back here and tell you guys what I think about the new mixes and the outtakes, okay? So yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Please let me know down here what you guys think about all this. 
Are you excited for the new mixes? Are you excited for the outtakes? Are you gonna get any versions, any shirts, any hoodies, or whatever? Please let me know down here. Thank you, and I'll see you later.